Hello, my name is Sasha Tomi. Uh, in this video, we're going to build a product dimension with automatic language translations built into that dimension. And we're going to do this with Power BI Desktop. And we're going to use just the GUI, so we're not going to actually write any code to, to achieve the, the desired result. So we've got Power BI Desktop here, but let's first take a look at the uh, data sources or the data sets we're going to use uh, to drive this. So we've got two um, CSV files. We've got a product file with uh, a bunch of five, five products in and we've got a, a language file with uh, at the moment three languages in plus uh, a language code and we'll use that later to do the translation. So let's bring in the uh, data sets. So I'm going to first focus on the language data set. And I'm going to edit this to do some a little bit of transformation before we uh, before we're finished. So the first step is to promote the, the headers. And then what we want to do in order to drive our translation, we want to do a a cross join of all the products and all the languages and Power BI Desktop doesn't support a cross join out of the box per se so I'm going to use a, a little hack technique to to do that by um, adding a, a new column I'm going to call it join hack and I'm going to set the value of every row to be one and I'm going to do the same on the product, and then when I join them together, I'll get a, a, a cross product effectively of both of both tables. So we're done with the uh, language table. So that's going to apply those those changes. I'm now going to do something similar for products. Let's once more promote the header, add our join, join hack column. And because this is a dimension table, I'll add a, an index column, which effectively will act as our, our surrogate key. I can rename that column here. And I'll change this to be um, English. Spell that right. There we go. Uh, and there's our product dimension ready for for kind of cross joining with language. So we'll do that now by using the merge queries function. So we're going to join product to language. We're going to join those tables based on the join hack columns and because we're doing a, a kind of hacky join here based on um, the values of one throughout, we don't need to worry about the type of join. Um, but there are various options of join to, to, to join two tables together. But um, it's irrelevant really what we what we choose there. So let's click OK there and expand. We effectively just want uh, language and code. And now we've got our cross product. So for every product, we've got uh, every language um, in, in that table. So the next step is to actually perform our translation. And we want to do this in an automated fashion. So the best way to achieve that is to use the Microsoft Translator service that you can find on the Azure Data Marketplace. So let's go and bring in that service. So Azure Marketplace, I've already created an account and subscribed to the translation service and you'll see that pop up in a minute. So there's Microsoft Translator, let's expand that node and we have a translate function. So I'm going to pick that and what that does is it converts that into a callable function within Power BI Desktop that I can then use to effectively enrich my, my product dimension and, and use the function to translate the the existing English product name into the other languages. 
So it's brought that function in. So now I can bring in, uh, add a new column. I'll call this um, translation. It will disappear in a minute, but just for completeness. And then I'm going to call the function. So translate. I'm going to want. I want to translate the English product name, and I want to translate it into the language that's specified by the code. And that code is what we picked up in the uh, in the from the, the language file. And there is a third argument to say what the source language is. Um, in this instance, it's going to know. It's going to detect that it's English, so we can just pass in null. So if there is any ambiguity, you can specify what language you want to translate from. And then we can expand that table. And what that's now going to do is take the English name. It's going to take the English name and the code, every combination, and call the um, Azure Data Marketplace service to do the translation uh, into the, the relevant language and, and we've got the results back here. So let's rename this column to uh, translation. Oops, translation. Uh, we can now lose these join hack and the code columns. And the last thing to do is, is pivot this table so we now we're back to one row per product but with the languages on each column so let's pivot that table back so the values column is going to be the translation and it's going to do an aggregate by default i don't want it to do that so i'm going to turn off the aggregation so then we actually get the value rather than the count in each of the cells and there we have it. So one product row per product and the translations in the uh, various languages um, follow. So then what we can do is we can we can automate this now. So this is effectively um, our, our process to do that transformation is is recorded in the, each of these applied steps. So if we amend our language file and add in a few more languages, say Italian um, that's IT let's say Polish PL and Hungarian HU that's added a few more languages and let's do the same for product let's add in cream apples and bananas save that file uh, so we've got a new source file effectively so let's refresh apply all those steps again on the new source again it'll reach out to the Azure marketplace to do the translations and the result should be that we have more languages so more columns and more products uh, therefore more rows and there we have it Polish and Hungarian cream, apples and bananas, um, appending on columns and rows to complete our, our product dimension. So taking that a step further within a, a report itself, we've got a simple um, bar chart here, a column chart um, with English names across the bottom. I've got a filter on the right hand side. So if I change the filter to be a different language, then the, uh, the new uh, languages or the, the French version of those products are, are now displayed instead.